Late on Monday afternoon this week a Galnet news story was published indicating that a commander had been hyperdicted by a Thargoid interceptor. That in and of itself is not unusual. Hyperdictions happen all the time particularly in the war zones around Sol. There were two things that were curious about the encounter however. The location of the Terra Triffid traffic stop and the fact that FDEV chose to highlight it. In this video I'm going to break down what's happened since and what it may mean for the future. We are going to be delving into very minor spoilers in this video so fair warning now if you're sensitive to that stuff look away. The hyperdiction was apparently of the stop and search variety, completely peaceful and nobody and nothing got killed as a result. Again this is nothing unusual. If you're reasonably new to the game then you might not realise that the majority of Thargoid encounters outside of the war can be largely peaceful in nature. The giant green laser spewing lettuce monsters actually just being curious about who is stomping through their turf. The commander in the news piece who reported the alien encounter was given as Renia Rakowski. There is no commander Renia Rakowski in the ranks of actual players in the game ergo what we're seeing here is a piece of law injected into the game rather than an actual player reporting a thing. I mentioned at the top of this piece that the location was unusual. To put the encounters location into some perspective it's 1500 light years galactic south southeast of Sol and a good few degrees up above the galactic plane with Sol. If you look top down on it it's almost directly a thousand light years above Barnard's loop and the area of space that is largely considered to be the Thargoids home turf or at least very important to them. So important that the pilots federation has permit locked the whole area for light years in every direction. And its position puts it 1500 light years from both the Colsac Nebula and the Pleiades Nebula. It's essentially nowhere near anywhere that we have ever encountered Thargoids before. The news piece ended with the words quote ...civilians are warned to stay away from that region until we know more end quote. If you felt a slight dizzy head spinning sensation yesterday around the time that the news piece was published then fear not that was just the galaxy tilting on its axis slightly under the weight of fleet carriers and independent commanders that as you'd expect immediately ignored the stay away recommendation and fired up their frameshift drives. The specific location that was mentioned in the article Rego GA-XB3-0 is quite unremarkable containing no worlds whatsoever in fact. A search of the general area was immediately instigated and after not too long Commander Marina Oatmeal reported to the Canon Discord that a number of Thargoid signals as well as two Guardian signals had been detected on planet 1C of the Rego BU-YB2-0 system. The Thargoid signals were all crashed interceptor vessels and the Guardian sites were of two distinct types that have been seen before. What has been discovered in the Rego system is very similar to the Thargoid Guardian ancient battle site discovered in the Trapezium sector 2 years ago, a leftover remnants and wreckage from their conflict millions of years ago. When activated the sites yield a Guardian blueprint each, one of the weapon type and one of the vessel type. If you're unfamiliar with this stuff, none of these materials or site layouts are new to the game. The community just hasn't found them in this particular location before but the pure fact that FDEV have chosen to highlight its existence does seem to point to something connected to it being on the horizon. The search of surrounding systems is continuing and whilst as at the time of recording there are no more reported hyperdictions or sites discovered a previously unknown permit locked system has been discovered around 300 light years from the centre of the search zone. The Col 121 system the full name of which is in the description below does not appear to be part of any general permit locked region. It's entirely out on its own. That and its relatively close proximity to the incident does immediately give it an air of suspicion. Following the events in HIP 22460 and the detonation of the Proteus wave device it has been reported that Caleb Salvation Witcherly somehow uploaded his consciousness to a Guardian storage device at the moment of his death. 
If true his whereabouts or what form he now takes is unknown so to see the Guardian part of the Elite Dangerous story being pointed at to again albeit in a roundabout way is at least intriguing. It's possible then that this area and quite possibly the permit locked system are important for some upcoming story and events even possibly as soon as Thursday when the servers go through their regular weekly cycle. As soon as we know any more we will of course as always post it on this very channel. If you enjoyed this video be sure to like and subscribe to make sure you see all our content and if you'd like to help support our work here at The Burr Pit you can also become a patron just like the wonderful folks you see listed on screen right now gaining access to exclusive perks, content and community events.